If your paper is rejected because of technical shortcomings or the evidence uh, they made you realize that is not complete enough, the best option is to go back to the bench and do it because after all, it's your piece of work, you want it to be as good as possible. If the paper is technically fine, but the level of novelty is judged fairly or not, not to be enough for that journal, if you cannot convince them of that, then you are better off going to another journal. If you think that the paper was not understood uh, by the editors and or the referees, and you cannot convince them of that, that too is a good reason to go to the next journal. If your paper is rejected, well, you swallow your pride and um, embrace the opinions of the reviewers. Um, now, these reviewers are peer reviewers, which means they are your peers. That's what makes them peer reviewers. So they are just as competent, just as accomplished, and just as opinionated as you are about your science. Um, so you respect their opinion. Um, I would suggest go through each comment one by one, critically. Analyze it. Again, set aside your ego issues. There's no egos here. Uh, just go through it with a fine tooth comb. Look at every comment. Understand if there is anything in there that is unsaid perhaps. Maybe some directions they want you to take. Some reviewers are pretty direct and will tell you, hey, you need to do this, this experiment and only then can you make the comment you want to make uh, conclusively. So go through it and see if you can address it. Um, sometimes based on the scope of the journal, it uh, may not be worth your while to sit and do all of those experiments. Um, sometimes you go back, try to have a dialogue with the editor who's reviewed your manuscript or reviewed the comments of the peer reviewers and see if you can reason out a, uh, a happy medium uh, that the journal would be willing to accept. But um, in all reality, it's science, it's pure science. You go through it, see what you can do, and then decide if you want to move on with those comments or go to another journal. The important thing is the first step you need to, uh, to take is uh, to go over the, all the comments from the reviewer and uh, see which is the strength or the weakness uh, of the paper. And so this helps you to address better uh, what is um, the, the missing part of the, the paper. And also, uh, it's important maybe to uh, consider to uh, uh, consider other journal that are more suitable for your research. It's more targeted. Take a breath because you don't want to make any rush decisions that's going to be emotional. And then definitely study the comments to come up with a good plan to how to address majority of the comments, if not all, and then contact the editor to see whether resubmission would be a possibility. If not, I would still try to look into your plans to make your story better with a couple of the new experiments before looking for an alternative journal and usually perseverance pays off.